Okay, hello everyone, how are you today? So this is the 11th of June and this is on Friday. So I hope you're having a great Friday. Happy Friday everyone. And uh, let's get started. So today I would like to talk about the, uh, the importance of loving something that you do. Um, and then I will talk about the markets. I will look at uh, some pairs that looks to be interesting. But first part, let me talk about the importance of loving what you do. Because uh, recently I get the emails and comments where it says uh, I want to quit the job and I want to uh, become a full-time trader so that I can support myself. I don't want to work for somebody, but uh, I want to work myself and support family and uh, friends. And I get these emails almost like every day uh, on my inbox. So that's why when I, when I read these emails, uh, it's good that you have motivation of quitting the job and I, I'm not against it. But uh, before that, I was wondering um, if you ever had something that you really love to do. Because uh, if you haven't had the experience of uh, what you have loved to do, then uh, it might be a bit difficult to get the sense of uh, being consistent in training because uh, you have to, in forex trades too, you have to love what you do, otherwise you might quit soon. So let me go into that details. I will. I have a slide screenshot and also uh, some comments. I, I put the memo, so uh, let me talk about it first and then look at some charts later on. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, so uh, so once again, this is 11th of June, Friday, and this is recorded at um, 3.32 a.m. in UTC time zone. And this is uh, 0.32 um, p.m. in Japan time. So we've got huge time difference. And after this recording, I will be going outside and uh, meet one of the Ichimoku members. Uh, and then um, most likely I will be outside all day. I have a couple of appointments afterwards and most likely I will come back home late at night. And if I don't have a power, then I might not going to be able to do the live stream. So if that's the case, um, I will upload this video for everybody so that you can still learn uh, something new on my YouTube channel. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information today is um, basically based on my own understanding and experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also if you can follow the guidelines and rules during the live stream or this video session, that would be great. So once again, this is a video session. It's not the live stream today. If you see this video today. So um, I have a slide. For just, a, just for a quick memo, I have created this slide. So this is a topic for today. The importance or the secret, if you will, is love what you do. So um, my first simple question is, do you love trading or do you love the process of what you do in your trades? If you can answer yes, then you can keep on doing it. If you don't really focus on the process itself, not the result, but if you're not really focusing on the process itself and if you don't love what you do, then uh, you, might have to, uh, you might have to change your mindset. Because um, initially, I loved looking at the charts and trades. And because when I first see the candlestick patterns and charts, forex charts or stock markets, it was very interesting to me. Very interesting, very fascinating somehow. The markets are going up and down every day. And this is about, this is like the psychology of the market. Uh, where people buying it, selling it, and people making profits and losses. And all these charts, it moves every day. And for some reason, it was very interesting for me, very fascinating. And that's why I start to look at the charts and without committing myself 
looking at the chart every day, I happened to see charts every day because it was very interesting and that was my pure motivation first. And afterwards, I get these knowledges and I started to take trades. I started to take trades, demo account, and then move it on to real account. And I get some losses and I get discouragement. It was stressful. I lost one account with a $10,000 account and other one I created another $10,000 account. I get 50% drawdown. And then that's when I came back to demo account. So uh, that was very painful if I focus on the loss itself. Uh, however, I changed my mindset there. I changed my mindset and I realized myself that my purpose of trading is to make profits. And that was my mistake. Well, actually, that comes along a bit by experience and uh, experience knowledge. But uh, when I started to started to uh, focus on the profits or losses more, then um, I started to be more stress, more stressful. So that's when I switch myself from real to demo account, and um, I started to enjoy. I started my focus to enjoy what I do, and also I started to focus on um, on on the love itself, on what I do. So, without taking any trace, I started to see charts every day. I draw lines still, and I've uh, I have. Actually, I used only candlestick patterns back then, so uh, because uh, because of these huge losses, I basically uh, threw all the indicators away, and uh, I start to see pure candlesticks with the lines, and uh, with the demo count, I started to take trades again, and that's when I remember my motivation to charts um, and that's when I realized myself that I was too focused on the strategy itself or indicators or uh, profits and wins or losses so now I have been taking trades for the last eight years as a forex full-time trader but still um, I don't really focus on how much profit I make how much losses I make and the drawdowns etc because simply I love watching charts every day and I love what, it, what I do so far so that's why the first question here is do you love trading if you answer no then uh, you have to switch your mindset so my other question is have you ever loved what you did in the past myself I love playing the violin. I have to upload a video on second channel. Hopefully that's gonna come in uh, be before I move to Dubai in the 29th of this month. But uh, I love, for example, playing the violin and I have no pain. I have no stress in playing the violin. So uh, because that's what I do and that's what I love on doing it. And trading is the same too. Trading is the same, like I love trading, I love the charts and I have no stress looking at the charts and taking trades too. So um, I think this import this is also a very important point to have uh, to have a grit and to have a motivation to keep going. Uh, if you can remember something that you loved the most in the past on what you do, then uh, you can adapt it to the forex trace and try to love what you do. So if you're if you're now focusing on how much you make, how much you lose, or drawdowns, then you can switch your mindset and in a way that you love you, yeah, you do. So for example, um, what I did was so when I had the huge loss, I got disappointed, I got the depression, and I had to medicate. I went to the doctor and I, I get the medications to cure my depression. But in the meantime, I play the violin and also uh, I love reading books and watch movies and talk with my friends. I love it. 
So basically,、uh, I enjoy myself. So when I started to enjoy what I do, then I realized myself how far away I have been from these flex trades in terms of what I do, what I like to do. So that's when I switched my mindset from making profits or from forecasting the profits and losses. I started to like the process itself. Like the process in terms of my backtesting, for example. I backtest my strategy and I like the process of improving my strategies and improving my own、uh, way of taking trades. And also psychology, too. I like, to, I like the way to improve my psychology by looking at my past trades. And sometimes, because sometimes I see patterns, like、uh, for example, I tend to, so back then, back when I was losing, I tended to use the,、uh, the, uh, the Fibonacci bounce a lot. So I look at every losses, all the losses in the past, and most of the cases, more than 80% of the cases, I was using Fibonacci bounce. So That's when I realized myself. So, how can I use the Fibonacci bounce correctly? Because I know Fibonacci bounce works, and so, so does other indicators, signals. They work, but sometimes they don't work. So, how can I capture when it doesn't work? Then I built my strategy like that. So, and when I was improving, when I tried to improve my trades, I back tested it. And I take trace on the back testing. I take trace just, just like I do the real trace. I use Fibonacci bounce and the market went backwards. And I take a screenshot and move on to other markets. And、uh, I also run charts and、um, use Fibonacci bounce. And when it works, I capture screenshot and I compare myself. When it works and when it doesn't work, I compare these screenshots and see patterns like that. And this is kind of difficult to explain on, the, on this video because、um, I've got many charts, like uh, chart, uh, you know, screenshots, and I compare myself like this. So, this is like my study、uh, of、uh, what works, what doesn't work. And so, I have my own strategy called the KTS. Case trading strategy I use, and that's what I, that's what I share to everyone. But、uh, this is actually based on my own experience, and I have confidence on it, and that's why I'm able to use it. So、um, that's why I say every time I see charts, I make sure to find three confirmations. I won't take one single confirmation, for example, Fibonacci bounce. I won't take one single Fibonacci bounce confirmation. Because I need some backups. For example, if I have the Bollinger Band expanding or Scarcity Gold Cross, as long as the market goes up, these are good confirmations to support Fibonacci Bounce, for example. So that's one of the stories or one of the experiences I had to improve my strategies. But the point here today is that. I decided to see charts like that way to improve myself, improve my trace, and see which one works, which one doesn't work. Then I started to like it. I started to be liking the process itself. It's like looking for the,、uh, not the holy grail, but looking for the way to support the signals with other signals like that. And then I use it in lower time frames. Because in lower time frames, if you take trades in lower time frames, then、uh, your stop loss is going to be minimized automatically because you're basically putting the stop losses based on the 5 or 15 minute charts. But when it comes to taking trades and following a trend, you, you follow in a daily chart or forward chart or even weekly chart trend direction. So, this is a very important concept, and that's how I build. Up my own strategy. But the,、uh, so once again, the point is that、um, I loved what I did 
I loved the process of improving and refining my strategy by backtesting it. Then、uh, I, I created my own strategy like that. However, if I only focus on profits and losses and、uh, the, like drawdowns or win rate, then、uh, I might not g o n n a be enjoy so much on the process itself. I mean, this is my past experience, so、uh, you, you might be different. You might be enjoying the profits and losses, and if that's motivation, then that's the way you have to go for it. But myself, I'm more like a study person, study type of person, or experiment type of person, so、uh, I like to study, look into it, and find it, and really start to use it with confidence, is my style. So, and this is, I know this field because I used to. I have been playing the violin, and、uh, also I have other areas that I love to do. So, if you can connect this success or like a love story of、uh, what you do in the past to trainings, then、uh, you might have a sense of、uh, which way you have to go for. So, I've got these emails、uh, almost every day. Like, there might be people who want to quit their job soon. So, when I ask somebody, what is the motivation to start trading? s And、uh, they say, I want to quit the job, or、uh, I want to、uh, support my family, or I want to be successful, I want to be rich. And once again, I'm not against these comments, and I think this is good motivation. To, to change yourself and to, to challenge to、uh, new things, and that's good. Uh, but um, so, uh, because myself too, I thought about quitting my school and my job in the past. So, when I went to the US, I had to support myself. My family didn't support, so I had to, uh, I had to uh, work and get the tuition fee. I get all these financial uh, uh, you know, tuitions myself in the US. I was actually running the Japanese teaching school. I had a certificate of teaching Japanese, so、uh, I, I used to run school. And also, I get a couple of other businesses while I was in, in the US. And that's how I supported my、uh, financial. Uh, situation, but that was very tough, especially I wasn't able to understand and speak English at all at that time. I had no word speaking English, so that was a quite challenge. But、um, I decided to take that challenge because for sure that will, that will、uh, grow myself in different areas. So that's why after I finished my high school. I worked one year in Japan. I used to have three or four jobs at the same time and worked in Japan and saved money and went to the US. But that money actually has gone it, it, within the first three months. It's gone. So I was so frustrated. I called my parents and they sent me some money, but I have to give the money back to them. That's like a tradition in Japan.、Uh, we have to, you know.、Um, Once I borrow some money from parents, then I will, you know, people give it back to the parents. But、uh, so I had the support, a bit of support financially, but it doesn't really enough. It wasn't really enough for me to finish the school for, to pay tuitions. So that's actually when I really focus on the study, also financial、uh, backups. So I, I used to work as a Japanese teacher. And、uh, I used to, so initially,、uh, I started to tutor the students, and then later on,、uh, it became famous, and I used to run the community and start to teach Japanese in, in, the,、uh, in, the, in, the, in that、uh, community. But, at,、uh, but after that, what happened was that the,、uh, in two years, I wasn't able to support myself financially. The Japanese teaching、uh, afterwards wasn't going so well. 
then、uh, I had to come back to Japan. I had to come back to Japan after two years of、uh, school. I used to, I used to、uh, live in Irvine uh, and uh, I used to go to the college in Irvine, but after that, I had to come back to Japan because I had no money. So I came back to Japan and worked one year. I saved one year of money and then went to Los Angeles. Santa Monica, I went there. And then I finished the school there. So,、uh, so coming back to this topic, I, I don't know how many times I feel about quitting my job, quitting my school also. So,、um, that was very tough. But、uh, my motivation was not to finish the school, but,、uh, and also my motivation was not to. Not to、uh, be able to speak English. My main motivation was to experience something new in my life. And that's why I was able to do all this. If, I, if my focus, if my goal is to finish school, then after two years, I come back to Japan, and then I might be depressed and I might decide to finish school in Japan. But、um, in Some, somewhere in myself, thought that、uh, potential or the,、uh, the opportunity to finish school, go to school in the US and experience something new that I can experience in Japan. And that's why I went, to, I went back to Los Angeles, Santa Monica, the second time and able to finish school there. So that was my motivation. So, Same as trading. If I focus on profits, how many profits I make, or a win rate to be 80% or 70%, if my focus is like that, then I might not gonna be able to continue the Forex trades. But because I like the process, I like the process of refining and also improving my own trades, that's why I can keep on trading still nowadays. So now I think that the,、uh, even if I quit trading right now, I'm sure I will come back in less than three days. So, no matter what happens in the market, no matter what happens on my trades, even if I get depressed or even if I get stressed, I'm sure I will come back in less than three days, is my, my feel so far. So, people look at me, look at my past. And say you are having a tough life, they might say. But no matter how, much, how tough it seems, I am proud on what I have done. So, the toughness, the feeling of toughness is different from people and people. So, I think、uh, this is kind of objective mindset is that the,、uh, you have to really、uh, sit on. The hands, and you have to really focus on what you do. And that focus should be different among traders. Once again, for some traders, the focus is to master Ichimoku itself, which is good also. Knowledge wise, you master Ichimoku. You want to know the whole picture of Ichimoku. That can be motivation. But for some people,、uh, the motivation is to make profits, and that's good too. For some people, the motivation really is coming from refining and improving yourself. Or it could be experiencing something new. So, and if you're really into these states,、uh, sometimes we call it zone. If you're really in the zone like that, then no matter how tough it seems from people, from other, others,、uh, for yourself, It is enjoyable still. It's fun and enjoyable and very、uh, exciting at the same time. So, if you enjoy and love what you do, then difficulties will never stop you. It becomes a joy of life and also experience, of course. So, the first word I would like to say is if you wish to succeed, you need to love what you do first. 
So now if you're stressed on the trades or if you're stressed on what you do, on the forex trades or any markets, stock markets or cryptocurrencies even, if you feel stressed, then look for what you do and look for look for the way, look for the area of uh, what you like to do or what you love to do on these forex trades. And then you can keep continue to do what you do and eventually you get succeed. It's my experience. So, so briefly, let me check the, some charts now. So, I talk about the market almost every day on my YouTube channel. And also, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. That's why. I like to share knowledge. I like to share my experience so that you can also learn something new and keep on trading that way. Hopefully, I can motivate everybody here who's watching this video to keep on trading without quitting what you do. So, the I have actually, I'm seeing two pairs now. So I'm actually watching this uh, Euro Swiss run. So once again, this is so this is now at uh, 4 a.m. in UTC time zone on 11th of June. So uh, this is at 1 p.m. in Japan time. Uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, like a downtrending the Euro Swiss Fran daily chart. So I'm still looking for the sell chance on this one. Looks like Swiss Fran has been quite strong. And that's why this market is going down after the P wave breakout. And then I also look at the um, USD Swiss Fran. This is also downtrending, and it's about to break the support of uh, 0 0.89303 level. So I'm still looking for the sell chance. Um, it might come after the breakout, the Kumo's down, Kijun Sen down, Chikou Span below the candles, and this is a nice setup to look for. A sale chance. So, but I like to see charts like this way, and I like to see which one is trending, which one's ranging, and how can I can capture these trading edges. It's my topic all the time, and the result will come along. The result will come along without, without uh, in expecting it. It should come along. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching until the end, everyone. So once again, it was not so much about the markets, but it was about uh, more of the mental mindset because uh, I got these emails and comments. And that's why I thought it's important to share this information for you today. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos or lives every day. And thank you to everyone who subscribed my channel. Uh, now the number of subscription became over 30k. So I will be doing the special live stream anytime soon. I will let you know by announcement on Twitter or the YouTube community post. Okay, so once again, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching until the end. And I will hope to see you soon. All right, so thank you again, and please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold, right? Matane, everyone. Thank you.